Our next item is 23-223, consider approval of block scheduling at Covington Middle School. This is an action item. Chairman Wright, Superintendent Halterman, school board members, um, if you have before you the proposal for a modified block, I apologize I wasn't able to be at the last meeting because I understand there were some questions, but basically with a modified block, the, the goal was to, to tailor it to whatever we needed to be. Um, you're adding an extra class, but you're also adding in the possibility of some all year, all year long classes that are 90 minutes, some are, some are half that amount, and some classes are, are every other day and then half, a day, half the time on Fridays. It, it just depends on the needs of the students. Um, within that, we also take into account the needs of our special ed students, so we work within our staff to make sure they, they get everything they need, and also with all the CTE and arts classes, we want to make sure it fits into the schedule. So. But I, I think that seems like all of our school professionals are very much on board with the modified block. And of course, Mr. Ross, my biggest question was how does that allow us to still, you know, offer electives? You know, I, I, I still believe that while STEM fields, all of the all of the things that get the publicity are important. Um, I still think for us to produce a well-rounded graduate, we still need to be offering a robust, as, as much as we can, a, a set of electives for, for kids. But, I mean, you all, I, I feel like I know Ms. Halterman's opinion on this, but um, the, the scheduling flexibility is there to allow for that? Yes, that's the main reason we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Is the high school on modified model? The high school's on a four by four block, um, and so, but we would not um, challenge Karen or Derek at either high school right now if they needed to propose something else. They have what they could call skinnies, where there are split blocks sometimes uh, to accommodate those same needs. And of course, um, Ms. Stanton's here, she doesn't mind us calling on her, or Mr. Ross can speak to that probably more so. Would it be helpful for both the middle school and the high school to be on a modified block? I mean, we have we have the ability to do that for the high schoolers that um, need extra. Yeah, it's more more or less. We don't call it modified block at yeah. the high school, but yeah. within within the framework of everything, if needed, we we, we make it happen. Yeah, if you were to ask one of us to fully explain what type of scheduling we have, I think we would err on the side of modified block because we wouldn't want anyone to assume we had a perfect four by four. Because we have made exceptions over the years in both high like schools. Like choir. Yeah. First semester is one group of students. And then second semester is different. Those students don't carry through to, to the second semester. They, right? they do have Allegheny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about Allegheny. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Allegheny probably has more skinny periods currently. Forgive that terminology, but that just is kind of a nice way of explaining a block split in half. So I picture two periods within a block. When I do that, um, Mr. Ross, is yeah, yeah. if you want to, okay. I'll do it. talk to us about from a student perspective. Okay, I have a sample master schedule for the middle school next year. If that will help, it will show it to you. Amazing copies, please. They look like a short short one. Yeah, this is. I love color coding things. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I just did two pages. I did one. Okay. So if you look at it, the the green, yellow, blues are at the top, and then put the. Uh, the pinks at the bottom. So the pinks at the bottom are your um, um, electives for the most part. And if you notice, it, it might say like, um, under art, for instance, it says six slash seven. That's your split block where sixth grade would be Monday, Wednesday, half of Friday. And seven would be Tuesday, Thursday half a Friday. It's done that way in order to be able to have choir and band all year and then they can have a 
different elective on the other side of the split. And that keeps them going all year and keeps the um, program going. Continuity and it helps with concerts and right. for the different yeah. award opportunities as well. Right. Um, and then like if you look up under language arts and math, some of the colors didn't, it, it's a little more differentiated on the computer than it did when it printed, but um, if you see it in blue, in like language arts and math, that would be year long for 90 blocks for your students that need the little extra. But if it's like sixth grade in green, that's a semester class. So that they could have language arts one semester and math the other. So it's really designed to, you know, all levels of ability and interests and so forth. And we have staffing to support this? Yes, it's based off of, we have um, seven people basically in the four fours. We've got four PE, um, a business CTE, and uh, the facts is family and consumer sciences. So um, we did ask for the, the additional art. because the current art teacher at Clifton Middle School is pretty packed and we're adding 200 students and that gives us a little more flexibility there. Um, and then a choir and a, uh, and a full-time band and a Spanish. And then I aspire that's, the only thing this doesn't really show is special ed because it is up in here. And I will add to the family consumer sciences since it we have it at the high school, and since we're moving to the middle school level, I'm, just to make sure we have all our ducks in a row and all the paperwork done, I'm working on the three courses for that, so you'll be getting a recommendation to add that. But since it's already part of what we're doing, I don't foresee any problem from, from the state. So, and then of course this side is first semester and this is second. This is very helpful for me. Yeah. Looks like a lot of good opportunities. <laughs> We're trying. I'm asking your approval. Any other questions? If not, we'll entertain a motion to approve. Is that you looking at me? Um, I'm looking anywhere. <laughs> Well, I move that we approve the uh, modified block scheduling for Covington Middle School as presented. Second. Second by Marie. Uh, roll call, please, Ms. Willis. Mr. Ayer. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Mr. Franzen. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Littleton. Yes. Mrs. Morgan. Yes. And Mrs. Sprague Duncan. Yes. Mr. Wright. Yes. 